Alright guys, Pitching Ace 88, part 35 of my Knights of the Old Republic walkthrough. This game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And last time we left off, we went, we are on, I should know where this is, Dantooine. That's right. Um, I was going to go check out some of this guy's wares. Uh, so let's see what he has to offer. I'll point out some some good stuff that uh, that I like to probably get from this guy. No Pazat cards. This I this is definitely worth it. It is a CNS enhancer. It gives you plus two strength and saves all plus two. I don't know what all plus two means, but it it's really good. Um, skills computer use uh, security. This is very good. Um, 7,000. This one's 8,500. Breath mask. Uh, interface band. This one's uh, also pretty good. His assault rifle. Uh, I can't remember who I give this to. This is another blade. This is good against droids. Um, any better armor? So just some good stuff. Uh, so if you get a little bit later in the game you might want to uh, head over there sell some of your stuff we were told that we needed to meet the master uh, let's let's talk to this guy first greetings sentient sent sent may I take a moment of your time for a question go ahead I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundil at S of Sulem. His ranch has been considerably difficult with Mandalorian raiders for many years. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. Do you actually believe she's still alive? It is not customary for the Mandalorians to terminate their captives. It is my hope that Sasha has escaped or been sold into slavery. If so, I may lo yet locate her. Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was, there was something there. Uh, go ahead. Okay. No, we want to go to... Sorry, I have no idea who you're talking about. And then I'll keep my out for your girl. Oh, I thought it would give me a quest. But anyways, we'll find her later. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. I do not believe we know each other. My name is De Deezra Lurjada. You may call me Deezra. I have not heard of any new apprentices being accepted for training recently. What brings you to this place, if I may ask? I came here with Bastila. Yes, of course. I should have known. I have only heard a little of how she escaped the destruction of Terrace. Tell me, did she save you from the planet as well? She didn't save me. We worked together to escape Terrace. Oh, I see. Well, I meant no offense, of course. In any case, it's good to have her back on Tantooine again. We were afraid Malak had captured her. I hope your time here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. So, continue on. This is really the only way that you can go. Get to a nice little cutscene, I believe. Yep. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Uh, <laughs> we'll be a little bit nicer. I believe you're mistaken. I'm not a Padawan. I'm pitching AC-88. I came here with Bastila. Bastila? I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. I'm telling you the truth. Come on. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Oh, it will be. It will be. Uh, okay, that's to go outside. We can't go outside yet. Uh, we could go up there. I'm not going to head up there yet. I'm going to head up there a little bit later. We would like to go forward. We could go right, but we're actually going to go left. There's Karth, and then we're going to cut scene. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar. 
a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Uh, let's see. Isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. What do you want from me? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Oh yeah. Nothing will give me greater honor than learning the ways of the Jedi. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? I will try my best. Wait, I don't know. Of course, okay. I'm willing to try my best. Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training. Though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order, but you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila. You and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. No, I don't want chocolate cookies. I don't want chocolate cookies. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. I had a rough night. <laughs> well, I can't say I blame you. I, I haven't exactly been sleeping well myself. Here, I thought things would get better once we escaped Terrace. Did she say anything else about last night? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you alright? I had a rough night, let's go. You got it. Uh... Yeah, I'll put these two guys in my party. Uh, let's... Let's... Great Karth attributes will give him more strength. Another treat injury, feet, dual weapons. I think I might have a better weapon for him. Do I? No, I don't. Okay. Um. What? 
Like, I'm just gonna go. I could go... You can't go back into the Evenhawk, look around, but I'll look around a little bit later. You can also go in there and upgrade some of your stuff with the workbench, but I think you can also do that uh, in the Jedi training room. So, that's where we're gonna be headed now. Hang a right. Training room. Good, we can go in there. Okay, so I want to go to this workbench. Make sure everything's... Ooh, like that. want to be able to upgrade his stuff. There we go, got the mesh. Okay, cool. So assemble. So now we got everything kind of upgraded. Uh, we're going to go to the council, but we'll do that in the next video. This has been Pitching Ace 88. I'll see you guys in the next video. I am out.